Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. Jim Brewer. It's Jim Brewer. <laughs> What's happening, dude? I'm, ho I'm hopped up for today, Mike. Shoot, dude, I was just talking to this guy for a little bit. I love him. I, I, I can't wait to have him on. I, I, for for everyone that doesn't know, like the guy I'm gonna have on, I am. I want to be him when I grow. I, I. He's exactly what I imagined when I first, you know, I first started talking about when, when you brought up. We made the video into serpents of society and or humanity, serpents humanity, and I'm like, I'm gonna be the metal. I used to imagine myself writing songs as a country guy, rock guy, metal guy, blues, everything. I just never really um, launched it correctly. And I used to do it Shaka, Shaka and all of us. We used to always do like musical stuff. But this guy, I mean, we tried playing his songs too here and YouTube wouldn't allow us. So whatever, I, I get it to a degree. But it's really frustrating. But today, I'm going to turn you guys on to someone, especially if you're bunker fans, which seems to be people love the bunker. Um, I get all the time when I'm live now. People come up like, "Hey, man, I love the bunker." I have, I have people like bringing me up in like sunglasses. I think we may have to. I think we may <laughs> have to get merchandise sunglasses. I'm writing that down right now. There you now. go. I'm writing that down right now. Bunker glasses. Bunker bunker sunglasses i like it i think that's the way to go bro um <clears throat> and so at the end of the day here's how this all came about i saw this video a while ago called um i told you so i told you so and i was cracking up this is i was like this this guy, who, who is this? Where'd this guy come from? I need to, I need to see more of this guy. And then I started looking at, and he, he has a whole list of songs. That is everything, everything bunker related. Before we go any further, we're not saying all this is true. We're just, it's just conversation. Okay. Everything that the world, um, it's like, oh, that's a conspiracy. I love how people still use the word conspiracy theory, where pretty much the, the theories are running out. Everything's coming to light. Have hey, you heard about they're changing the digital banking? That's on the way. The, the fake alien invasion, that seems to be what they're prepping for now. Uh, with all the cons everything before the, um, uh, the, the, you know, the pandemic started, uh, people say, dude, it's already patented and they're already working. Oh, you know, it's, it's, it really exposed a lot, but this guy made my day with songs like the puppet show. And what's cool is like, you know, like I told you, so is like hard bluesy. Then he's got like, uh, a uh, big pharma, um, yeah, space is fake. I look, and then there's ones where it's just the the no no photographs on Earth, where he's just. I I love you guys. So without further ado, please welcome the conspiracy music guru, Mr. Alex Michael. What's up, Alex? <laughs> hey, Jay, what's going on, man? What an honor. Bro, first of all, I'm already thrown off. That so is that an English? That's English accent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm originally from the UK. I'm uh, and, and I'm now living in Spain because the weather's better here. And UK is so pissy and grey and horrible, and I hated it. So I'm living in Spain now. I've been here for the last ten years or so, and I kind of had you know my awakening, if you want to call it that, and it gave me such a a creative burst that I couldn't wait but to put it into music. I have a history of you know uh, working in the pubs and the clubs, not dissimilar to what you're doing, and. Uh, and then, you know, the truth hit me like um, like a bat out of hell. And it gave me this creative burst. And now I'm putting it into music. And uh, I'm so glad you found my stuff, man. And you're resonating with it. Bro, Alex, I, 
I don't. I, I, there's not enough I can say right now. Like I, have to, I feel like I, I feel like I need a, a cup of coffee and maybe a little. But this is. I found your stuff, and first I didn't know. First of all, your talent, dude. You play everything. You you do all the you do all the music. Yeah, yeah, I do all of it, and and, and that's what people don't realize that, that that it's just one guy doing it in this little tiny studio. I've got this little studio which is three meters across and seven meters wide. And uh, I'm doing all of the, the guitar, I'm doing the, the, the keyboard, the harmonica, the vocals, the harmonies, the production, the mastering. I design the CD on Photoshop. I do all, I, it's, just, it's just me doing it all. So uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a hell of a job. And particularly the, 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 the video editing as well. It, it takes me like two months to do a five minute video. So there's an awful lot of work that's gone into my music videos over the last six years. Uh, and I don't think people realize the amount of work that goes into it and the amount of parts that I'm playing, just doing it all in the voices and everything. It's a, it's a hell of a job, but you know, uh, it seems to be my purpose now. I think I found my purpose because, you know, it's like, I feel it's my duty to, to, to inform the masses about what's going on comedically, musically. That's why I think conspiracy music guru, although it's a bit of a long winded title, it kind of describes what I do to a T really because guru just simply means guide and I'm guiding people through the world of conspiracy or truth using music as a medium so conspiracy music guru is a, is a perfect title albeit a little bit long-winded but yeah I'm doing I'm doing every aspect piano guitar vocals production mixing mastering the whole thing man that's the part that rolls me away Alex is is people do not understand that that's that's where I really, I mean, besides the music, it's fun, it's good. Then I started watching and I realized Al Alex is doing every instrument. So that away, that already blows my mind. But it, it, now you're talking about that you do all the videos and your own editing. So you don't even have a production team. I'm telling you, this has to be, I, I when I saw you, my wheels started going. I'm like, oh my God, if I could do a tour, I would do a tour with, oh yeah, we're going to tour with this guy. We're going to be in arenas. We're going to be in I, I <laughs> This is, I want this to grow into something. I want this to grow. It's going to. You got, it's going to grow into something. If if I can make it happen, keep putting that awareness on you, it's going to happen because... Well, I, I love the sound of that. I mean, you're talking my language, but here's the thing. Like, I mean, I would love to get, you know, more eyes on my music and more ears on my music. I would love to, and I would love to... I don't know about touring and stuff like that, I mean, but for, for me being in Europe and just getting into into uh, into the USA now, they, they want me to have one of these things, right? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, you can't. I can't get into the USA without having some poison injected. I've got to be careful because we're on YouTube, but I can't get into the USA and do anything over there unless I have the uh, the, the experimental arm spear. I didn't even know that. No, the, yeah. Wow. So this makes a lot. Wow. So this administration will not allow any foreigners even just to visit. Just to yeah, visit. Yeah. Yeah. You you have to prove that you got the inside oh, of you. Oh yes, oh yes. I mean, even I, I went to Denver in uh, 2009, eight, 2018. I did a conference over there, and even then they were scanning my fingerprints and a facial, uh, probably an iris scan, and all. that was back in 2018. So God knows what's going on now, and I know that uh, foreign nationals can't get into the USA unless they have the <laughs> as you put it. <laughs> <laughs> So, from your standpoint, um, all right, coming coming from England, living in Spain, when were you in? Were you in Spain when all this madness started really kicking in, or were you oh, in yeah. England? Yeah, no, I was in Spain. I've been in Spain for the last sort of nine, ten years. So, um, I mean, in Spain, it was incredible to see the compliance here. I mean, it's the same all over, really, because you know we're in such a niche little sector, aren't we? But to see the compliance and the double maskers and and I refuse to put that thing on my I absolutely refuse to put that thing on my face. So bless my wife, she took one for the team and she was out doing all the shopping because I refused to go into uh, into shops because I was getting shouted at. I was getting shouted at from the other side of the street because I wouldn't wouldn't wear that thing, and and just the just, just the mass compliance. It was like holy shit, what what the hell is going on? But I guess it's the same all over the world. You've had that there, right? We've we had it here, and I was just telling someone 
when I would fly, I would walk through the airport with my mask off and the looks, uh, half the looks with this, like, oh my God, this guy's going to get in trouble. And then the other looks were like, you sick murderer. And then the other halves were like, go, go. You know, when you see a, when you see a car police uh, going past a police car on the highway and everyone's like, yeah, get, go. He's not going to pull you over. It was, it was a little bit of that. But, and then when I would get on the plane, I'd always get a window seat and I'd put my hoodie up and I'd take down the mask. Like it was, I've never seen humanity. Um, it, it, it was it was quite a wake up call to see how easily humanity just drops to their knees, puts their hands behind, put your hands behind yeah, your yeah, back, exactly. and show me. I, it was um. See was that that, quite... that that was one of the reasons that um um you, you I saw you comment on the song that I I made, which was uh, a television watching news believer, which has a very Metallica sound to it. Yeah, sounds like sad but yeah. true. And yes, that was that exactly, was written yeah. because my wife was coming back and going, "Oh, you'll never guess what's going on out there! The, like all these people with these masks." And I and I just said, "They're all television watching news believers." And when I coined that phrase, I could hear that Metallica riff, down, down, bam, bam, na, 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 bam, 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 television. And I was just like, "I've got to make a song about this." Like, and 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 all, if you listen to the lyrics in that song, it's like, um, "Because of you, we're in this mess." Ah! How you love to be deceived! Ah. Like, this, this anger, like the, uh, for, for that whole COVID nonsense period, just like uh, spawned like three really angry songs for me. Like I, I told you so. Like, for, like why aren't you listening? You television watching news believer. It was like so angry. I had to you know, express myself through. Um, through music, which is the only way I can really express myself in this little studio. You know, I don't want to be a talking head and do like, you know, uh, and it, but tons of interviews. I, I feel I can express myself way better through music as you, as you do with your comedy. So it was just like, um, it was just like utter astonishment from, you know, from my perspective, how people were just acquiescing to this utter, utter nonsense. And uh, I put it into music and that, that angry style was something that really fitted. The angry, yeah, the angry really resonated with me, obviously. And so even when I was starting to work on um, bits that led to my special, that was somebody had to say it. Oh, dude, before you get, I have to say that was absolute genius. But I must have watched that four or five times, bro. It was at the, in absolute stitches. That is genius comedy. We need way, way more conscious stuff like that because... Like I said before, most most people are just well, not most people. Some people are just seeing it on that superficial comedic level, and they're just going. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> but there's so many more people that are going, "Holy shit, this is some real <laughs> stuff, right?" <laughs> well, that. But I have to say, the the one the one part where I where I get to envy what you did, what music allows, is tapping into that the angry. You're like, how could you think this way? Where I had a, I had a, I had to kind of move the anger aside and still, <laughs> still be driven by it, but at the same time try the funny and like. <laughs> In this funny, yeah, 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 yeah. it's just like Nazi times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't see that's it, all you can do that, but that's all. But so, what's the option? I mean, you, you you can either laugh about this stuff and put it into comedy or music, or you can be really fearful and start. But I won't let them have my fear. There's no way that. So the only way I can deal with this situation and what's going on around me is, and I'm sure you're the same. It's just to put it and like you say. The, 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 you know, it's like depopulation. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, they talk about it, and we do nothing. <laughs> hey, how, how about that? My body, my choice uh, rally. <laughs> what else you guys running off to? Hey, take the guns away. <laughs> hey, look, aliens. Okay. Yeah, 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 wow. yeah, yeah totally. Holy facts and figures. I'm... Facts and figures. Trust yeah, the science. Facts and figures. I can be. You're not a scientist. You're not a doctor. You're not a doctor. Oh my God! The, oh, the, dude. 
the watching the level of humanity literally morph into going, what is <laughs> wrong with you? Um, but, it's shocking. But, yes, it is shocking, dude. I want to. I literally wanted to go to Spain and get on stage and do that. The the sad but true sounding. So, some of the stage I wanted to get a band. Be. I got to do a song with you one day. If I yeah. could, guess what we do live, I would love it. I'm going to make it happen. It's going to happen. I, mean, I, I, I would love that. I just that, don't want you to get too big. I don't want you to get too big. I would big, love really. that. But the, 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 the logistics involved in doing something like that, getting a whole band, because like, everything I do is uh, like, I, I, I'm the, I am the band. I am the drummer. I am the harmonica player. I am the bassist. I'm, 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 so to get a... What would be amazing for me is to get on stage with a full band that knows my tracks like inside out. But to, to the logistics of that, of the, the rehearsals involved, and it's just like I, I, I don't want to sound pessimistic, but like, is that possible to get a whole uh, like session musicians? It's gonna happen. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's good. I, I'm telling you. Between the listeners and the people that I'm already uh, that I that I hang out with, that I've been talking to, that we're already putting things together, the, it it is beyond easy to get the 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 hottest best musicians to back what you're doing. It'll be a piece of cake. My mission is in the next six months. To be able to get you to come do a show, you get paid, fly you here, have the killer band, bring the audience, and just between doing a little bit of stand-up, a little bit of storytelling, a little bit of hangout, and then do your session songs, that is my vision from the minute I saw you. I'm like, oh my God, I I'm telling you. It's gonna go down. I, I love the vision. I love the vision. I just like. I, I just. Uh, I mean, you've got contacts, obviously. Like, I mean, if, if you can make, you know, if you can make a. I just wonder if there's a band that could. No, oh, there I, is. I, it's it's a fantasy. It's a fantasy to have a band behind me, all knowing my songs inside out and backing me. So I haven't got to do all of the instruments. I can just get up on stage and belt out a number, you know, and just with 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 passion and knowing that that band is behind me. They all know every uh, chord progression, every uh, every it's every part of the song. But I mean, uh, it's just. Uh, it, it, oh no, it's. Alex, listen to you. I'm not BSing you. As a matter of fact, so I went to this charity event, right? I went, it's very heavy and all that jazz. And I went, oh my God, how can I, I I'm not good with, I'm not the guy that's going to write a check. I just don't have that kind of, uh, my, <clears throat> I'd rather do shows. And they're like, here you go. So with that, I was with some musicians, this guy named Ira Dean. Ira Dean wrote a lot of music. He's more in the country music world, but he knows all the rockers, the metal guy. He knows everybody, right? Um, and I know a lot of the rock. I know a lot of the rockers. I know a lot, a lot of the rockers. So with that said, I went, Ira, we 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 hung out. We were going to see some concert. We went to go see uh, I don't know, like Molly Crew, Def Leppard. Just for neither one of us have ever been a cop, but the guys we were with, like we gotta do this. So long story short, we said, why don't we do? We're telling stories in the band, musical stories, of real life, meeting certain people, and all this jazz and the stories that led up to it. He's telling music stories that are unbelievable. And I said, why don't we do a night where I'm doing just. The old Van Halen, ACDC, blah, blah, blah. He turned around in like two minutes and had the greatest musician. Like, dude, they'll learn this in 24 hours. He goes, these guys don't take a week. It's 24 hours. I'm talking about Def Leppard calls and go, we're missing our guitarist. We need to fly you in. You need to know the whole set by tomorrow. That's the type of musicians that the connection we're going to get to back yeah. you i'm telling you we're gonna get it i love gonna, it and we're gonna back you and we're gonna figure this out even if it's just one show and we'll film that sucker give it to you <laughs> you can fly like a butterfly <laughs> it's, it's, it, it's wonderful man it's, it's a wonderful um it's a wonderful fantasy for me at the moment but you know uh i mean if you can make that happen then then, I'm gonna then work on it. It. i promise that you i'm gonna work on it so 
when you were so you technically moved to Spain just to for the weather, basically, not not anything yeah. else. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, uh, the UK never resonated with me anyway because uh, yeah. it was such a cold and gray, pissy, pissy. Oh, it was just awful. And I, I, the wife and I came on holiday to Spain and we fell in love with the place. It's just so beautiful. And where I live now, we have 300 to 320 days of sunshine a year. Contrast that with the UK where we get uh, like eight, eight weeks of like, if we, if you're lucky of sunshine, it, it, it just, it just never resonated with, I felt like I was born in the wrong, I nearly said born in the wrong body then born in the wrong, <laughs> born in the wrong country. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, but in Spain, it's just uh, the weather. Yeah, the weather was a big draw. I mean, I don't uh, integrate into society here. They're they're very much television watching news believers. So I just kind of do my thing in my studio, my my musical activism, if you like, and uh, in this little studio. And I and I seem to have, uh, I've, I've seem to have made a difference musically to a lot of people's lives. I get a lot of messages. Uh, weekly, daily, sometimes saying how the, my music has really resonated with them and, and changed their paradigm, and now they're looking into more stuff and they use my music to to teach their children and that sort of stuff. So um, I kind of like this little safe haven of like right. this little uh, this little studio in this beautiful country where I do my activism online. I'm just playing the guitar and playing whatever, and it has this effect. It has this beautiful ripple effect as it as it sort of you know ripples out uh, uh, you know all the way across uh, across the plane. So you didn't expect this when you started when you started putting this together. Like, so what was the first song you did? It was a song called um, Flat Earth Man. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah. Uh, and, and when when I first because I I started looking into, you know, uh, truths or conspiracies in 2012, like 9-11 being the, the catalyst that got me into all of this sort of stuff. And by 2016, I was looking into Earth shape and the heliocentric, all, all of that sort of stuff, and the NASA, and it just absolutely blew my mind. And I thought, right, I have to put this into music. But I didn't want to put it into music as myself, as Alex Michael, and just because I thought, well, I've got family and friends out there that are going to see this, this music. Right. So I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just put on a hat and, uh, man, put on a little country voice and start singing about. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? People like NASA's faking everything. And, and so I made a song called Flat Earth Man, and it was all yep. like NASA faking everything. So I hid behind the character. So and it was a it was a, almost a genius move, really, where because if my family and friends saw it, they would be like, well, it's just comedy, it's just satire. Look at Alex, he's having fun, he's got his little hat on, he's got his shades on, he's having fun musically. So people wouldn't there were some people that would see it on the level that's intended, but you know, most of my family and friends couldn't say anything because. I was just, you know, it's having a character. Fun. I'm having it's just fun. Character, yeah, exactly. It's it's character. So that's how I started with, with with the flat Earth man character, and it was kind of this voice that I hit behind. And I was doing all the country stuff and lightly, and then so many people thought that I was a genuine like, American from from the deep south or from. Texas, I did, which I is which no is. A, I had no clue Which is a huge English. compliment. It's a huge compliment. It was not like I was uh, out there to deceive anybody. It was just like I'm hiding behind this. So many people thought it was a genuine guy from Texas. So that's a huge <laughs> compliment. So and then I did the first song, which was called Flat Earth Man. And then that kind of not I wouldn't say it went viral, but a lot of people in that the uh, Earth Shape community were, went, wow, like well, you need to do more. So I did another song, then another song. Before I knew it, I had an whole whole album, which is called uh cheeky little plug here which is called yeah. the flat earth man album and okay. uh it was just basically a whole album of like me bashing nasa and and uh <laughs> yes <laughs> and like uh, you, you mentioned before about the whole note of no photographs of earth and that there's the space is fake and all of that and it was just space really, is fake is a great and, one. and the gravity nonsense as well so it was a whole album of, of me just waking up to all the heliocentric nonsense uh so just one that very first song when I got to Spain and realized that the whole heliocentric model was nonsense, that very first song led, led to a second, to a third, to a fourth, to an album, to a second album, to a third album, and now a fourth album. It's just like, I never planned this. It's ridiculous, but I love it. That's what I love about it. It's, it's, you don't know how far and wide that this stuff reaches. It's so bizarre to me when I hear people from Belgium, Spain, uh, Australia, Japan going, 
I love what you do. And you're like, what? What? How did it? That that is the the one great thing about social media. And yeah. and I love that you you just you put something out there. And this is what people don't understand. What you're putting out there and me just talking. We don't know how far and wide people are being touched. And I'm telling you, it's resonating with millions of people because they are on this frequency. They do see what we see. Mm. It is not crazy. It is not conspiracy. We see it plain as day. Mm. And it, it it feels good to, to know that there's other people starting to go, ah, I, 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 okay. Like even... Even the flatter people get so angry. I love it. <laughs> they get so I get I get messages like, why don't you just just go back to what you were 30 years ago? You suck, you're a piece of I hate you. <laughs> the foul hatred just because they don't agree or they can't see is absolutely mind-boggling mind-boggling and i why can't we just have a difference of opinion like you believe that and i believe that is that, that you know that's okay why can't we just you know just uh, it's yeah i mean it, it goes with the territory you have to have very very thick skin if you're gonna be um yep. putting this stuff out there you know particularly as uh you know when you're talking about earth shape and that which is why i love to hide behind a character because i can just go ah oh, it's just comedy it's just you know you know so but yeah the the uh the uh, the hate uh, that you get, and I still get I still get the odd email every now and then telling me that oh, you're a joke, you know what are you doing? And blah, blah, blah. It's um, but I, I laugh at that now because I know I'm I'm very uh, firm in my beliefs and, and understandings because you know I've done the research. The people that are forcing uh, 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 throwing all that hate towards me, it's like you haven't looked at a thing, you television watching news believer. That's all it is. You just stare at the screen and that's all you know. You're just a news cockatoo. Just yeah. is repeating <laughs> everything you say and your little feathers go up every time. That's it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the earth moves at a thousand miles an hour. Facts and figures. Facts and figures. <laughs> <laughs> We, we are rotating. We are orbiting the sun at 66,600 miles. Interesting number. 66,600 miles an hour. Facts and figures. Facts and trust the experts. Yeah. Oh, that's a joke, mate. It's a joke. <laughs> but isn't it, isn't it fascinating, though, when you really start jumping into it? Like, where, where does it all begin? And what, what? What is this really all that's, that that has been created and how deep yet how simple it really is? Does it, do you know understand what I'm saying? Like 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 in other words, I go to I go to Africa a lot and all that, and I I like just studying tribes. And I'm like, how did we? Who took that? And now who said who went to tribes said, hey, listen, the water's free. The air is free. We look after each other. We don't do voting. We've got a killer system. Who came this? We could do better. We're gonna fill things. We're gonna create schools. We're thing, and we're gonna stop. And they, well, that'd be the Rockefellers, then, wouldn't it? I would guess so. But even before that, like, how did kings in England? You know what cracked me up? What taught me so much too? It's so stupid. But uh, um, uh, Monty Python. Uh, the Holy Grail. There's a there's a small scene in there, you know, and he's walking along, and they're like, "We come for your taxes," and I don't remember the exact wording, but the guy was in a pond. He's like, "So, just because somebody pulled a sword and a thing, and forever they get to be king and take all money, like what rubbish?" And who said? Yeah. And, and, and I'm botching it all, but it's such a simple concept. Why is a king a king? And well, they believe they believe they have the divine right, right? They believe they have uh, they're, they're the chosen people, if you if you like. Yeah, and the people that say they're chosen. Why has this been allowed for so long? Why? Why? How do people? It's it's my but what, so everything that went down, in my opinion, is it's not that far fetched because 
we've been living this way for centuries just not asking anything just yep no nope, we got to that's because we have so much bread and circus. It's like one one of the videos you uh, you put out with, with the Carl Rittenhouse uh, thing. Like, oh, he's a hero. He's a hero. right. It's it's that thing. Like because because we're given this bread and circus, and let alone all the sports and all of that crap. There's so much to distract people. Like you know, give them bread and circus, and they will never revolt. It's that that's what we're dealing with because we, we're living in a circus where nobody questions. Nobody questions. Nobody questions. Everybody acquiesces. It, 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 it's, it's great uh, material for comedy. It's great material for, 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 for music. But um, my God, what a state we're in. It is really. That's what I say. My God, what a state we're in. I do have plenty of hope, though, Alex, that many people are starting to, to wake up. They're starting to talk about it. There's going to be a lot of people that are fake and just profit off of the what's to be said. And I actually see a couple of them on major platforms and I see major names that would have never named. But I go, yeah, no, you you're you've either been approached or you're totally playing into. I don't buy you one second. There's a mm -hmm. there's a lot of that. But um, I just thank God. That here we are, we don't know. You're in Spain. I'm in Florida. Um, there's this guy, Tom McDonald, who I really like. He's in the yeah, he's a rapper. He's got the, the, the tattoos all over his face. And yeah, he's doing some great stuff lyrically. He's he's he's, he's incredible. Wow, he just did this thing with John Rich, a country guy, where I think it's called the end of the earth or whatever. And it's it, it's again, it just shows here's this guy, tattooed face. In LA, probably one of the worst holes in the world, let alone America. And here's this country guy, like hunted, blah, blah, blah. And yet these minds still think alike. And this is what I love, what people need to understand. We don't know each other from a hole in the wall, but here we are far and wide, never met each other. And you can't deny the fact that we see and we feel the same thing, no matter how how many people go, oh, you know, you guys are conspiracy. Oh, you guys, but you're a joke. Oh, you're whatever. It doesn't matter. We just know. We just yeah. know. Yeah, and we I need more, more unity. We need more unity there. Like guys like Tom <laughs> McDonald and the people that you're in contact with, we need more unity. We, even if it's digitally online, like we need to like sort of, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's just, just uh how did you together and do something because uh you know if you've got an audience and i've got an audience and tom mcdonald's got an audience why we should be getting together because uh we, we've all got a little bit of power in some in some aspect and um i think this this this, this message is getting out there slowly but surely we're definitely in the midst of, a, of an awakening which i love but unfortunately guys like tom and guys like me and guys like you are, be, are, be, are being censored i mean i don't know if you've had any um uh, yeah, clubs, clubs that have said, "Oh, we can't have Jim here because he's because he's talking about conspiracies." Well, the big thing too. I mean, how how I started was my comedy special was on a platform, and I was taking all the uh, pre orders of somebody had to say it, and then the the second I said, "Hey, I ain't playing any venues that forced the," uh, everything got dropped. Everything. Wow got dropped so i lost my the amount of money i put into the special uh I, I lost everything and i had to start i had to start uh from the bottom and i said yeah you but you've got to be true you've got to be like them if, if that's okay no, that's no, what i did for the language but you gotta be like them because you've got to be true to yourself right and that's what i said them i ain't i ain't bowing down to this this insanity anymore this this slavery it's mental and physical slavery and if you Absolutely. can't see it that's good but i the chains are off and i'm running so who if you want to come with me come along if you yeah don't, bro yeah stay there and eat your slop and do what you do and that's okay <laughs> that's okay yo from the chair you stupid bastard you're a conspiracy you can rattle your cage but i'm on the other side banana i'm on the other side when you're ready good night bro I'll gladly bring you over here. I'll gladly bring you over here. Well, oh, man, I'd love to. You got my wheels turning, and I just, I just love. There's, there's people like you and your wife. I, this blows my mind, though. You know, 
years ago, in fact, you go, you brought up 9-11. Years ago, I brought my mom to uh, uh, Luxembourg. Um, and is that right? No, Luxembourg. Yeah. It's Lux oh, my God. My, ge my geography is way off. What's near France? That's by France, Luxembourg? Yeah, it's not far. Yeah. Okay. So I brought them there, and they have this, a lot of soldiers are buried there. I hope I'm right here, and I don't look like an asshole. I'm pretty sure it's like, so I brought my mom there. But the long, the what I'm getting at is there was a French driver that was bringing me and my mom around. And he, he was in the car and he was like, yeah, what do you think of uh, George Bush? I went, hey, man, I don't, I don't, I'm not a politician. I'm not, it's professional wrestling to me. And he didn't understand what I was saying. And then he goes, I'll never forget what he said. He goes, we all know that your own country did that the world knows because how did they think in america and then me and him got into it my mom was a little freaked out but that blew my mind that outsiders from other countries can see something a little different going mm. on because mm. america thinks we th we've been trained we're the best at everything and maybe we are here and there, but we're the greatest. And no matter what we say goes, we're the big, we're the animals. And yeah, that's the power of propaganda, man. And they've got a killer propaganda. Here. Oh, hell yeah. It's a, it's a monster, but sponsored to, by Pfizer. Sponsored by, <laughs> hey, they have been sued. <laughs> Fact, they have been sued. Um, when, so you, in your in your vision, you saw a little bit. When, when did you start seeing things differently? Was it nine eleven? Was it before that? Was it something in your own country? When did you start going? Eh, I'm not really buying a lot of things or selling yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was 2012 for me. And oh, what was I, that? I, I, I had a tiny little. Uh, I, I converted my garage into a studio in 2010 11 12 something like that and I, one of my friends came in and he was like what's this video on the on the uh, the plane that hit the pentagon and he showed mm -hmm. me this video and it was like uh, it wasn't a plane that hit the pentagon it was like no. it was a missile it's like three frames from a, a security camera it's like yep. d d d three frames like that's not, that's not a plane that's that's a in missile man it's like and it really it's like that's and because you type that into my computer back in the days when youtube wasn't censoring youtube like because he typed that in it was like oh you like this 9 11 conspiracy video here's some more 9 11 conspiracy videos you might like so i was like i was clicking on every 9 11 conspiracy video like oh my god building seven just collapsed or like so no, no, no. I was just that that was the whole catalyst that got it got me into it and like that's when i started really really questioning like the mainstream now like oh my god i knew that didn't make sense these two buildings just falling down like how could two planes just like it just really got my wheels turning so that was 2012 and then and then i started following people like alex jones i have a different opinion of him now obviously but and then i started following david ike and uh, i was like just drinking it all in like i was kind of uh it was an obsession, if you like. It was like yep. a truth or obsession, like because I was finally understanding like the world I live in was like a complete farce. And then he was all this information that explained it all. Like it's really quite a, a dark world you live in. And these are the reasons that I was clicking on every conspiracy video that you could that you could imagine. Everything with Illuminati or New World Order in the title. I was like, ah, I want, I want to know more. And so like fast forward to where I am now. It's like, uh, it's like, um, it's like, a, <laughs> it's like a fucking joke now. But 9 11 was the catalyst that got me into it. And then you go through the, all of those Illuminati, New World Order conspiracies, and, you know, fluoride in the water and satellites and, 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 and everything. And then you get to, and then eventually you get to Earth Shape and the heliocentric nonsense. And uh, it, it's just like, oh my God, everything is, is fucked up and everything is a lie. And uh, what is someone like me, a creative guy, to do with that? I have to channel it somewhere. Yeah. Just like you do. So yep. uh, it goes into music it, 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 uh, in, in an attempt to awaken my fellow zombies. 
I uh, yeah, and and that's okay. I used to be angry at the zombies. Now I just I'm I'm compassionate with them, but I take it as um almost like victims. They don't know. Oh, I, don't do know you know what? what? I'm I'm totally with you with that because it's like um forgive them for they know not what they do. Correct. Right? Correct. Right, because, because I used to, yeah, I'm, I'm totally with you. I used to get really angry. How can you not see it? How the f can you not see it? Like, they, but they have no clue. They have been so propagandized. And I have members of my family and my wife's family that are just <laughs> seven, yeah, I know. seven jabs and wondering why they have a fucking stroke. Uh, right. It's like, oh my God. Like, right. Like, I, I, I have family members that got you know, the face, uh, they get the bells. Tall. Yeah. That, then I had another one. Whose daughter got blood clots on her liver? She's twenty-one. Oh, she was geez. rushed to the hospital. Uh, my friend has an enlarged heart, and this has nothing to do with nothing. Do you know what? You, when I when I explained this to a certain family member, he, he was like, "Oh, the, the, the reason I have blood clots is because of blood. Oh, I'm, I'm boiling inside. Like, oh my god, why can't you see it?" I, I almost, and I know it sounds horrible to say, but part of me, I also wrap my head around, and I don't want to disrespect anyone that's been in combat, but uh, this must be a slither of what it's like to be in a war, because to me, it is a war. It's a, a psychological war, a spiritual war. Yeah. And you see people you know just get mowed down not even knowing they're getting mowed down and and they're people you love you respect you've known your whole lives and you're just baffled silent weapons i mean it's, it's, that's there's the, nothing it, you could do it, it's silent weapons for quiet wars you know you're aware of that document yes yes right that's that's what's going on right it's, it's just like this just people are dropping and dropping and dropping and everyone's like oh, it's normal Eh, the guy on the soccer field, he just, he's, I know he's in great shape and they check him all day, but hey, man, this happens. It's normal. Yeah. And there's, nobody. There, there, there's a new strain of, the, uh, everyone's dying of um, suddenly, right? Everyone's dying suddenly. Right. Sudden death. It's pretty yeah. freaky, man. Well, are you working on anything new? Well, I mean, I've just, I'm a bit exhausted at the moment because I've just You're finished a new album. Break. <laughs> <laughs> I've just finished a new album. A little, I, I, when I, when I, when I um, put my energy into music, I, I, I put everything, I, I have sleepless nights and I put my heart and soul into it. Yeah. And I've just released a new album, which I, it took me like four months to make like day and night in the studio doing that. And I've just released a new album. And so at the moment, I'm like exhausted from that. Yeah. And I'm taking a bit of a break. But now I'm at the point where I'm like, do you know what? I'm bored. I, I, I always love a project. I have to have a project. I have to have something to work on, you know. I, I um, So I'm looking for the next project. I don't know what that's going to be. Um, but I, I guarantee it's going to be something musical. It's going to be something conscious. I just need to get that inspiration at the yep. moment. Um, uh, yep. I, I don't. I, I never force it. I never. Force yep. it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write a song today. It's going to be about this. I'm like, no, I'm going to wait for it to come to me from the ether or whatever, uh, because that's the natural way for me, rather than forcing a song. You know. So I'm just in that downtime at the moment. But I guarantee you, in a month or so, there's going to be something that goes. You need to write a song about this, and I'll be like. On the piano, like, or in the, uh, there'll be something. But uh, at the moment, I'm taking some downtime. I'm working in the garden. But I, I the thing is, now I, I, I'm aware of this stuff, and uh, and I need to put it into music. I don't think I'll ever. I don't think I'll. I think this is this is going to be my calling. I think I'm going to be doing it for the rest of my life. I don't know. Um, it, it's very difficult because um, when you're aware. When you're aware of this stuff, I mean, you can't just sit on your ass and do no. nothing. I mean, I have to use my quote unquote talents to put it into something conscious so I can wake and awaken my fellow, my fellow man. Um, yep. So uh, I think that will always be what I'm doing, I think, um, creatively, because that's all I know. Well, I'm the same way. Um, although I'm, I'm doing a bunch of shows now. I'm the same way. So after I did somebody had to say it, there's this expectation of, yeah, keep going that. Dirt. But I feel like whew, I, 
that was a lot of passion and anxiety and bent up energy to and, and exactly when, when it's gone you're like oh my god I... yeah it's exhausting you have to have you have to have that downtime you have to because the, I could, there was so much in that stand up there was so much there was so much content and i could tell that that, that came from a, 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 a there was a lot of um passion that that went into that and you have to have your downtime you can't keep going and going and going and going i get people messaging me go oh can we have a christmas album can we do this right you have no idea how much it takes just to do like a <laughs> stand up or 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 one album it's it, it's it's, it's an, enorm, an enormous amount of energy that goes into something like that so yes, uh, I, I think you, you have to take a step back before you start take a step forward yeah and alex what i what, what i can relate to you with you is I don't like trying to force it at all. If I force it, it comes out horrible, comes out yep. fake. It looks it looks forced. You got to feel it. And then when you feel it, you will do it. You know, I've, I've, I'm sure there's people like, hey, you need a, this type of song. And, you, and, and part of you all the time, like, you know what? I, I, maybe I should get this out. Maybe the timing. But no, it's not worth it. Because when you knock that ball over the over the wall, or when you get that ball through the hoop, whatever it is, people feel that and they resonate with it. You know what? You know what? See, in my head, I'm like, we got to do a whole tour. You know how I went on this too? You ever see the, I don't know who they are. I think they were on the streets of England and they do that. Um, you can take your something. You can stick your, so you can stick your new world order up your ass. Your ass. You can yeah. stick your new world order up. I never got that right that as well. I mean, it's, it's I, obviously. Obviously, it's a it's a parody of your. Yeah, she'll be coming round the mountain. Obviously. Right. <laughs> right. But, <laughs> yeah. But that's something I I want to I want everyone. To, if you don't know that song, just I don't know what the name of it is, but that's what I see like a whole concert, almost like the way Live Aid was. No disrespect to Hunger, what it was about, but the Wake Up the World tour, where it's you, it's those guys it's stand up it's like a russell mm -hmm. brand what he's doing right now it's all these guys just coming out and and the the, the mass is waking up well i hope well, small steps bro small steps we'll get there oh that, that'd be amazing i mean that'd be amazing if there was a, a concert on that level where there's like conscious comedians conscious musician all coming together i mean uh, what kind of um censorship that would happen around that i don't know but uh but uh i think i'm gonna work on it i'm gonna work on it i'm i'm definitely gonna work on it and if i if if if, if a small contribution can turn into a bigger contribution can turn into one i don't care about the money i don't want the limelight i just want people to go wow i never saw that now i understand and now i can yeah. see clearer now and now i can think without all the blurry vision and realize what is truth and what is not truth totally. and how long this has been going on so yeah. um as i said there's a great saying one person can change the whole world for the better as long as they don't give a damn about the credit and i don't ever want no damn credit damn right, mate. my the credit comes from a higher place dude uh, Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I've said from day one to my missus, I couldn't give a shit about fame or fortune or nothing. Like, I don't want to be famous. I don't give a fuck about any of that. I want the music to get yeah. recognition. That's all I want. I, this is why I, I, I don't put my face. I did put my face on my on my albums before because it was an ego thing. But now it's like I don't. I, I want the music to get recognition. It's the music. It's the lyrics. It's it, 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 that's the stuff that can change people's paradigms. That can. That's the stuff that can really get people thinking. Um, I couldn't give a toss about uh fame or fortune i just want the music because i know how powerful the music can be so uh that that's what i want I'm, i want the music to have more recognition um and and to, to 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 see an event like that with 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 conscious comedy and conscious music that would be amazing bro well i think we'll, we'll pull it off one day and and you know what's incredible too because it's it's not to be underestimated i think it was lenin I think John Lennon said, never underestimate the power of music. And he was so right, no matter what you thought of that, man. Um, words like that. And then I look at the people in control, the powers that control the airwaves, that control music, that control contracts. If you look at all the great musicians, even like a Bob Marley who started crossing over, um, they were a danger 
to this society that has enslaved the world. They are a That's dangerous. why they're no longer here. That's why they're no longer here. But however, the time has come where there's a millions of people like Alex Michael, yourself. There's millions of Tom McDonald's waiting in the wings. And the great thing is we don't need contracts. We don't need publishers. We don't need any of that. We just got a voice and we got each other and it's being put out there and they will never have control of it again. Because we need an just... audience. We, we, we need an audience. That, that's the problem. It's coming. It's there. We just don't know it yet. Trust me. Trust me. It's there. We just don't know it yet. It's going to happen, man. Hey, man, uh, this was, I hope to see you. I'm telling you, we're going to connect in one way or another. I'm telling you, I got to drive for this. I'm excited about it. Even if it has nothing to do with me, even if someone else is like, you know what, Alex, Michael, I'm bringing him. If it happens, it happens. I just, this has to happen. I love it. It's fun. It's amazing. It's creative. It's incredible. And Alex, thank you, brother. This is thank amazing. You. Thank so you, nice brother. meeting you. So and great you, meeting and you, Jim. I appreciate the time. Thanks, brother. Hey, you let me know when the next one comes out, even if it's a year from now. I want to. Well, we're going to talk before that. We're gonna I told you that. so. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the door. I told you so. There you go. Take, there it is. I love it. Take care, Alex. Have a Thanks, good one. Thanks, man. Have a good one, Alex Michael, and I love this guy. This guy is. He writes all his own music, uses all his own thoughts, creates it all, produces it all. Guys like guys like him, guys like John Rich, guys like Tom McDonald. Those are three different genres. This wave is coming, whether you want to be part of it or not. And it's beautiful. And you can't deny the truth that's being told or the passion that's being told. And if you don't like it, you don't have to be angry. You need to really check yourself. If you see a stand-up comedy bit and you get so pissed that you reach out with vengeance, if you see a clip, that means your emotions, your thought process, your everyday life is being controlled by something you don't even know. I mean, that's a very serious situation. And that's why people slowly are starting to wake up because mind control does exist. Whether you want to, whether you think that's conspiracy. You know, Knock yourself out. So you could you could call it that all you want. All of us that can think, we're not bothered by you anymore. We're not bothered by the things you say. We're not bothered by the by the Keith Obermans and the, the, the Rachel Maddows and the Sean Penns and the George Clooney, all these bananas that get paid millions of dollars to go on a set and get edited and then pfft, they're paid. Their characters. They don't have freedom. They don't have freedom of the mind. They don't have freedom of their heart. And they don't have any higher spirit, God, whatever you want to define it. They don't have it. So I don't get angry at them. But this is a good time. We need guys like Alex Michael, whether you like his stuff or not. But do not underestimate that here's a guy in Spain so driven by what he sees going on in our country and the world and how dead serious it truly is. You could stick your head in the sand and you could pretend it doesn't exist. You might want to just live your, what you call your normal life, but you cannot underestimate that this man is putting his entire 
energy into waking people up. And he's, he's as he would say, like a, like a nobody. And they're all over. This is fun. We're going to get this going. We're going to get this guy. This is going to, we're going to do a concert. We're going to figure this out. Mark my word. I'm going to make some phone calls when this is over. And um, this was a lot of fun. I'd like to really thank Alex Michael. If you haven't checked him out, it's the Conspiracy Music Guru. Check him out. Thanks for being a part of today. Thanks for being uh, being part of the Bruniverse. Uh, we are moving along. I think I found a studio. And we keep growing. Let the truth keep growing. Let your heart keep getting bigger. Keep searching the light. Love conquers evil. Light conquers dark. Truth conquers lies. See you next week on the Bruce Bros. Have a good day. This is Jim Brewer, and I got my own Patreon page, and hopefully you'll check it out. Live comedy concert streamed once a month. Weekly, you host your own podcast, and you interview me. Early access to the Bruniverse podcast every single week, and have bonus footage and bonus segments. I promise you I'm not going to let you down. Go check out my official Jim Brewer Patreon page, and I'll see you there.